Hi team, um, just quick update um, regarding this weekend coming forward. We've got Ruby Amani um, nommed for the um, Rich Hall Breeders Stakes down in Hawera. Um, fortunately she's drawn 11, um, but um, then again I am, we are supposed to be getting some rain, so depending upon how much rain we do get, um, that could actually be to our benefit. Uh, Daryl Bradley is booked to ride should know the track really well and of course he knows Maggie really well so um, yeah so just hoping that perhaps she uh, we get a couple of scratchings perhaps and um, we can come in a couple of slots if 11's a little bit far out even if the track is a little bit wet but we're you know we'll see how we travel Pam says she's really well um, and uh, so we can't ask for much more than that um, and I expect a good bold run from her it's a strong field obviously you go to group three and it's a strong field so um, yeah, well, we just got to try. You got to be in it to win it, as they say. Um, we've got Los Angeles out in the paddock at Coniston Lodge. She's going to take a wee break, um, just as the as the tracks are getting a bit firm. Um, she's done a lot this prep. She's won two races, got second, got you know she's really gone from zero to hero this prep. I'm really excited about how how well she's done so moving forward I was um, I'm looking for you know beginning of autumn um, late summer to, to get her back on the tracks and um, she she could make a very nice stayer and a, and a, and a really nice cup source and and certainly um, you know she's got all the positive aspects about becoming such a really nice and a really nice type really nice staying type um, uh, dance 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 will come back probably for a week to freshen up a week or so to freshen up um, hit the grass a little bit, freshen up, because she's going to be aimed for the uh, Captain Cook, that's the plan at the moment, which is down in Trentham, uh, December the 8th, um, Group 1. So I'm hoping that uh, we can figure out um, between now and then uh, who's going to ride her, but uh, there's no pressure right now, and we'll just we'll t take it easy, you never know what might happen. Um, so yeah, so uh, so that's, that's a positive note that we've actually figured out uh, a, a sort of a plan for her going forward in her next start. Um, Chris said that she's doing really well, so it hasn't affected her the last race, but we do need to freshen her up to get her back over that 1600 metres and give her that, get that sprint at the end. Um, uh, hot and high heels. Hot and high heels is doing really well. Um, fast work's going in in the next couple of weeks, and she will be, be racing between uh, then and De December we'll have a race or two into her without trying trying to get the wet track wetter tracks without getting it too rock hard for her then we'll pop her out for a little bit just over Christmas so that she doesn't get those hard tracks and bring her back in and we'll be setting out a plan for her um, race by race and it will be very clear cut um, where she will be going to uh, and because obviously Obviously, that with with the issues that she had, we have to make a very clear plan, and uh, we we want to move forward in a positive fashion and keep the horse horse healthy and us happy. <laughs> um, other than that, that's what's been going on lately. All the other horses are doing really well. We're really happy and only good reports. Um, Chris Gibbs has uh, said that Sam Express she's a tank. And uh, I told him, I said, oh, well, that's a better name than what I called her. I called her a bulldozer. So that's the Sham Express Lady to Sheen. So uh, she's been given the thumbs up by Chris. Uh, so um, all positive notes and uh, um, moving forward, it should be a really nice summer for us all. And uh, I'll keep you updated. Uh, see you down in Hawera, I think. I'll be going down there and uh, safe travels. And that's back on track.